What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brent Watches Babylon 5 for the first time today. I'm watching season four, episode two, Whatever Happened to Mr. Garibaldi. After this episode, I'm going to get together with my buddy Jeff, who has also just watched this episode. If you want to catch his videos, go over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Babylon 5 first, the number five, the word first. You guys can check out his videos, but he and I are going to get together. We're going to do a deep dive into that. That comes out on Monday, but right now I've got to watch this episode for the first time. My prediction, pretty much what the title says, it's what happened to Mr. Garibaldi. The last time we saw him, he was out on a mission from Sheridan. We don't know what that mission was. I suspect we'll find that out today. And we saw him uh, out in a Star Fury and he attaches himself to a shadow ship. Now, my thought is, is the reason he does that is because he was Sheridan's like rescue plan. And so the shadow ship's gonna bring Garibaldi back to Zaha Doom. Garibaldi's gonna find Sheridan down in that pit with that really weird dude, which we still don't know anything about him. I'm very interested to find out more about him and Garibaldi is going to get him back like this is going to be his uh, rescue attempt and this is how we get Sheridan back on the station because Sheridan is still on the DVD cover and this is called Babylon 5 not big a hole in Zaha Doom so uh that being said <laughs> oh man uh I make myself laugh sometimes all right, what are we doing here? Oh, so that being said, I'm going to watch this episode. few things you guys can do for me while you're here. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you like what we're doing here at Babylon 5 for the first time, please be sure to share this video with your friends. It is the best way to grow this community is by word of mouth. Now, that being said, something you cannot do for me is spoil anything. Please don't spoil anything. Please, no spoilers beyond this limit because as we said, we are watching the show for the first time. We've never seen anything beyond this point. Please don't let us know what happens. Also, all those things that we're confused about let us be confused we'll clean that up on babylon 5 for the second time for now let's have that true first time experience okay with that all out of the way i am dying to know whatever happened to mr garibaldi nine days since mr garibaldi disappeared on patrol outside the station nine days okay med lab's quiet these days the league of non-aligned worlds has broken up and everyone's going back to their home worlds to prepare for the next stage of war we know the enemy's gonna I like how back. Franklin has the Earth Alliance logo still on his Remember monitor back it, there. This time's gonna be the last time. This time they're gonna end it. All we can do now is wait for the other shoe to drop or try and find something useful to do before the end. And right now, short of hand holding or sympathetic ear, I can't think of one damn thing. I like that they sort of give us a recap like, if you're just joining us, here's what's happened. <sighs> Yes, Lanier. In coming to you, I'm committing a breach of protocol. But you should know. Someone should know. There's a problem with the Len. Who are you? What do you want? Who are you? What do you want? Is that Sheridan? Who are you? Who are what is going on? Okay, we heard what do you want? We also heard this, who are you? So those are like the two questions of the Vorlons and the Shadows. Like the Vorlons are like, who are you? The Shadows are, what do you want? Oh, there's so much to dive into that. I have so many thoughts. Most of them I've already shared. Just the idea of your identity. Uh, for the for the record, I would come down on the side of who are you more than what do you want? You've got to know who you are. You've got to, got to, got to know who you are. Okay, anyway, by the way, Sheridan, I've never seen his hair looking this bust before. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. You were dreaming. Oh, there's the dude. Who is this guy? Yes. About what? You're thinking about escape again, aren't you? Don't. There's no way off, Zahadu. Might as well give up. Reconcile yourself as I did. The first obligation of a prisoner is to escape. Ah. You're not a prisoner. So, if one is a prisoner of love, one must escape to solitude. If one is a prisoner to joy, must one escape to sadness? I see you're still upset that I won't tell you my name. Hmm? Well, what does it matter? If I tell you my name is Lorien. Lorien? Is, is that really his nothing, name? But leaves me is at that, a disadvantage. Is that... Is that Lori like uh oh, oh what was that called? Um Lothlorian? Is that is is this dude from Middle Earth? Oh of course not, but still Lorian. Okay, I like it. You know, we're starting to see a lot of Lord of the Rings references. Um I'm noticing more and more. So all right, let's get it. Words have meaning and names have power. The universe began with a word, you know? But which 
came first, the word, or the thought behind the word. You can't create language without thought. And you can't conceive a thought without language. So, which created the other? I don't know that that's and true. created the universe. No. So what is this guy talking about? I, I see you're far too wrapped up in your question to consider the larger issues. What question? Who are you? There you go. How did you know? This guy's a Vorlon. <gasps> is this is this what Vorlon look like when they're not all like is this like pre-evolved Vorlon? Like is this what they look like in their natural state? Now, what you are? That's a question I can answer, at least in your case. You're dead. Well, that's enough. How long have you been here? He doesn't look dead to me. I don't know. A day, maybe two. The sun has risen and set nine times. You haven't eaten. You ought to be starving. He's dead. Are you hungry? Is this hell? Oh, is he Satan? Does blood still flow through your veins? Does it? Check your pulse. Check your pulse. Oh, there he goes. He doesn't have a pulse. He doesn't have a pulse. He's dead. Oh my gosh. There's, there's no pulse. Because my reluctant friend, you are quite dead. Quite dead. <gasps> What the freak is happening here? Oh my gosh. Okay. I have, I, I have, uh, yeah, let's go. I, I have no idea what's going on right now. What is happening? What is the last thing you remember before waking up here? If you go to Zaha Doom, you will die. Dude, Kosh told him that this is what would happen. Long way. Well, it was a good life. But a short one. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. <laughs> what is this oh, guy? Behind all of this, huh? Just what are you up to? Who are you? That's a good question. Who are you? What do you want? Is he his shadow? Is he like the king's shadow? Forget You're the Vorlons. Now, aren't you? What is this yes, guy? I see you are. But closer to tick or closer to. What is this dude? Only time will tell. And here is he that big between light? Between the moments, we have all the time in the world. Is he? Wait a minute. Is he? Is he both Vorlon and Shadow? Like whatever they like. Is he both? He's the who are you? What do you want? Like is he? Is he playing both sides? Is, is he? Is he the progenitor of both or something? Like what in the world is going on? Okay, we're back on Babylon Five. Man, arrgh, come back over to the other one. Or show us what's going on with Garibaldi. You're going to be worried every time the universe doesn't make sense. You're going to be worried every moment of every day for the rest of your natural life. Your right? point being. My point be. Why am I talking to you? And what are you doing here? I heard you were looking for Mr. Garibaldi on the assumption he was in trouble. So I went looking for you on the assumption you'd probably get into trouble. <laughs> I was doing fine until you showed up with that thing in hand. It's a Minbari fighting pike, several hundred years old. You're just jealous because you don't have one. I'm that jealous because I don't have one. Envy, if you ask me. <gasps> so. You think you have a lead on Mr. Garibaldi? Was that a, was that that a was penis joke? If fury they found, then he may have escaped or been intercepted. I'll go back later and... Well, I suppose I should appreciate your concern. Compassion is a rare commodity these days. Why are you doing this? He's my friend. I've never had a friend before who wasn't a Narn. And you? I've never had a friend before who was a Narn. Aww. He just Damn called of any other kind. He just called Jakar you. his friend. Oh. May I? <laughs> Don't give it back. Don't give it back. <laughs> Don't turn it on while it's facing you. <laughs> to open it, you press. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear a cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is that Hold on. Did I hear a cat go, <laughs> Pain. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen for it. Listen for it. Here, I'm going to turn it up real low. Listen Drive for me. the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Sue's a cat. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. Ivanova wanted me to go through the captain's personal effects and figure out what to keep and what to store, what to uh, send back to his family. She uh, gave me the password to his personal blog and other official files. I was looking through them when I found this. thought you might like to take a look at that. I'll be outside when you're through. Listen, that's one of the most stand-up things Franklin's ever done. Because he, like, before, he would have just stayed there. and Or he would have watched the whole thing. He would have stayed there with her. He gave her some privacy. Good, good on you, Franklin. Good on you. Look, his walkabout did him some good. Personal log, May 14th, 2260. We actually had a quiet day today. It's hard to believe with so much going on lately. And now that we've broken away from Earth, everything has hit the fan. It's not what I wanted. Frankly, it scares the hell out of me. But it had to be done. The job now is to turn this around and make it into something positive. My dad always told me that's the only way you deal with pain. You don't surrender, you don't fight it, you turn it into something positive. <laughs> he used to say, if you're falling off a cliff, you may as well try to fly. You've got nothing to lose. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've fallen off one hell of a cliff. When I look in her eyes, I let myself think maybe I really can fly. Oh. And according to our newfound friend, he was given the location of Mr. Garibaldi's star fury by okay. someone from interplanetary. Okay, seeing Jakar brush his teeth with his finger is something I've never, ever needed to see or ever need to see again. Ooh. Ooh. Get some sleep. I'll send word if I find anything. Thank you. Mm -mm. He's about to be captured. He is. I see where this is going. Okay, I'm sorry. These Centauri Centurion uniforms just look goofy as hell, man. They really do. Marcus is still there. Where's Marcus? Marcus left, didn't he? Oh, man. Look at all those white stars, man. Thank you all for coming. From their beginnings a thousand years ago, when they were first created by Valen, the Rangers have always been our first line of defense against the shadows. Many of you have. The Rangers were created a thousand years ago by Valen or Sinclair. I thought they were created like two years ago by Sinclair when he got transferred to Minbar. What? I didn't. The Rangers were that old? Did we know that? I, I, I really feel like this was something that we were told that, that Sinclair did when he went be, to become the ambassador on Minbar uh, when he, you know, when he got written off the show. The League of Non-Aligned Worlds has collapsed. The Lynn's got the Rangers. But there are plan. a few among them who still believe in our cause. Who would She's prefer to go Zah, right? fighting if that is to be our destiny. They need only a single rallying cry. I call upon you, upon the entire White Star fleet, to be that voice. If the others are afraid, then we will show them what must be done. And if our deaths are required, they will at least light the way. We will attack Zakadum. Uh, uh, the plan is no. to wait seven more days. Maybe not. So that any ships that wish to join us can arrive. Then... With darkness before us, <laughs> destruction behind you know, us. I was, you know, she's doing this rah rah, bring up speech. We will attack Zaha Doom. And instead of the yeah, you, you get the uh, we, we will <laughs> wait seven more days, let people arrive. Darkness before us and destruction. Before. We will strike. As a dear friend said to me, if you're falling off a mountain, you may as well try to fly here. The end. There you go. I offer you one final chance to fly. Yeah! For the one! Malak, you've kept us waiting. I should be very upset with you. My apologies. I wonder if Before I entered more, your majesty's presence, a more gray. I properly attired. Well said. Well said. He's I clapping with gloved hands. <laughs> Did you know that? I feel we have so much in common, which is why I've secured you a gift. I wanted you to see it as soon as it arrived. Well, it is unnecessary for you to buy Nonsense. No one turns down one of my gifts. Would you like to see your gift now? <laughs> yes, Majesty. Good. 
<laughs> it's a teeny tiny bell. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny bell. <laughs> teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Is it Jakar? I hear the chains. Oh, of course. Coming in with the the cross. Yeah. There he is. Oh, my word. The but now he's here for our amusement. And well, when he ceases to be amusing. Hmm? Ah? <laughs> I tell you what, Peter Jurisic, there's not a whole lot of people I know that I can think of off the top of my head, except maybe Andre Katsoulis, who acts with his eyes as what, like the number of times in this show where we've seen Londo just looking out of a window, looking into a mirror, looking into the camera, and you can just see everything that Londo is thinking is, I, I mean, so good. He's so good. Have you anything to say? Do you by any chance happen to know where Mr. Garibaldi might be? <laughs> Who? Hey! Oh my gosh! I gotta be honest, I kind of forgot that this episode was called What Happened to Mr. Garibaldi. It is 29 minutes into this episode, and this is the first we're seeing of him. He's in a cell? What is going on with him? What did happen to Mr. Garibaldi? What is this? Not a cell. This is something else. Please restrain yourself, Mr. Garibaldi, or you will hurt yourself. We can't allow that. Yeah, why not? We have orders. orders. Who's orders? Orders. Who's orders? Who's orders? We can't tell you that. You must know that by now. Look, just what do you want from me? We want to know what you remember after you were taken from Babylon 5. Just tell us the truth. Not to be afraid. What happened after you left Babylon 5? Told you I don't remember. What happened after... I said I don't remember! What happened? What happened? Did he just rip the arm off that chair? Oh, they're gassing him. What the heck is going on with him? Is that a Psychor badge? Did I just see a Psychor badge right there? It's he. Does Psychor have Garibaldi? Why? That was a sight. Like, like it was, it was real in shadow right there. But, but it was like, like there was a tube that came down and it went under and it was like right there. I was old when the molecules of your world joined. And is he God? Land. Is Lorian God? And fish. And man. You're one of the first ones. No. No, I am the first one. Not one of the first ones. I am the first one. Wow. So he is God. Okay. Jump. Jump now. Gosh. Is that its name? I think I met it once long ago. It? Warlon's He told it. me to jump. Did he know that I was here? Almost certainly. The others need me. You can't turn away from death simply because you're afraid of what might happen without you. That's not enough. You're not embracing life, you're fleeing death. Wow. So you're caught in between. Wow. Unable to go forward or backward. Your friends need what you can be when you are no longer afraid. Right? When you know who you are and why you are and what you want. I don't know how to do that. Then I cannot help you. And you will be caught forever in between. This dude wants Sheridan Surrender to like yourself trust fall in the death's arms. The death of flesh. The death of fear. It's a trust fall. He wants him to trust fall. <laughs> How will I know if you'll catch me? I caught you before. That's I why die. he didn't hit the bottom. I cannot create life, but I can breathe on the remaining embers. Do you have anything worth living for? The lead. Sleep now. I will watch and catch you if you should fall. Of course it is. The lead. Did he just talk him into dying? I mean, he was already dead, right? Like, or caught in between. Dude, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to make of all that. Oh my gosh, that's so heady. There's so much there. I'm going to have to go back. I need to like transcript this whole episode. Holy crap. You know what's funny is an episode that's titled Whatever Happened to Miss Garibaldi. Garibaldi was in this episode for 2.2 .2 minutes. Like, 
That's it. And yeah, Jakar was searching for him, but it, Jakar got captured by the Centauri. And Londo's like, this This episode wasn't about Garibaldi at all. When you find yourself falling off a cliff, you may as well try to fly. That's a good word. I Good Lord, this is going to have so many of those messages in it, man. Your friend, I, I, oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what all he said there. He said something about your friends need you to be who you are when you're not afraid to die or something like that. Like that was, um, oh, oh, this one stuck out. You're not, you're not embracing life. You're fleeing death. Wow. Uh, maybe this is actually about getting him to embrace life too. Cause he says like, it's easy to find something worth dying for, but what's worth living for? Like he's trying to get him to choose life. But Lorian is the first, first one. He's, oh my God, I'm just trying to figure this out. He's the first, first one. He he is the father of the Vorlons and the Shadow. Are they brothers? Is that what the idea is? They're brothers. They're like two sides of the same coin kind of a thing. One says, what do you want? The other says, what do you, who are you? What is Zaha Doom? Is Zaha Doom like purgatory or hell or heaven or Sheol, the death place? Like what, what is the nature of Zaha Doom? You know, it's, you know what Zaha Doom is? Zaha Doom is that island where those folks on lost went that's what it is right what an episode what a freaking episode holy cow all right i can't wait to jump into this one with jeff but i'm gonna have to watch it a few times first so i'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this like i just said so i'm gonna get out of here hey listen thanks guys so much for joining and thanks so much for not spoiling anything please let all the questions remain don't answer any of those questions because i'm sure the show is going to but uh for now i'm gonna get out of here uh like subscribe all that sort of stuff thank you guys so much we'll see you on monday right back here at the youtube channel when jeff and i get together and we'll do a deep dive into this episode. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Take care.